the Crubbies! I'm Barbara. And I'm Kelsey. And today we're drinking beers from South Carolina. So a few facts about South Carolina is that we entered the Union on May 23rd, 1788, becoming the eighth state. Um, the capital is Columbia. The state dance is the Shag, not the Charleston. It's known as the Palmetto State, as the state tree is the Sable Palmetto, which also appeals, appears on the state flag. Up until 2004, it was illegal to get a tattoo in the state. It is illegal to fish with a yo-yo or dynamite in South Carolina, and it is illegal to buy or sell an electric eel in South Carolina. Our first beer from South Carolina is the Follies Pride from Freehouse Brewery in Charleston. This is a 4.8% alcohol by volume, and the IBUs are not listed. Out of 4,347 check-ins on Untapped, it has a 3.41 rating. And the flavor profile is light, clean, smooth, hoppy, and fruity. A little hazy. Like fresh laundry, clean. The fruity notes I get. I think it's the fruit, but it, it smells like a fruity laundry detergent. Like PG, apricot mm. You know what I mean? Like one of those. Yeah, I, I definitely get that scent. Oh, oh taste it. up. It's very crisp. Tasting. Not a bad blonde. No, That's it's, a pretty good blonde. It's crisp. It's like it is. You take you swallow it, and then it's like it. It's almost like you just bit into an apple or something. Yes, but not cidery though. Not cidery at all. But that just that like straight to the point. Yeah, it's really good. It is. That's, that's a really good blonde, I think. I don't get hoppy at all. It's supposed to be hoppy. It, that was one of the flavor profile notes, but I don't get the hoppy at all. I definitely get the clean and the smooth. It's a little there. You taste it? It's a little there. Mm -hmm. I don't really get it, personally, but... I was trying to think if I would, like, reach for it again, but I don't typically drink blonde, so, like, no, I actually I'm, wouldn't I'm a little surprised, again. because... But it's good. Yeah. Were you rated it? I did. That was quick. I'm, I'm really unsure. I already knew where I was at. Oh, I you already knew? I was, I was ready. Ready? I'm ready. Do it. 275. I say! Yay! Yay! <laughs> we agreed. <laughs> that never happens. That ever. That's good. Yeah, I don't think it was quite three-worthy, but it was a good beer. Oh, uh, yes. 275. It's a solid, solid, solid blonde, for sure. Just not our, just not our style. Right. Our second beer from South Carolina is the Low Country Lager from Palmetto Brewing Company in Charleston. This is a 5.5% alcohol by volume with 25 IBUs, 2,151 check-ins on untapped, and it has a 3.55 rating. Oh. The flavor profile for this one is light, smooth, sweet, hoppy, and warm. Another warm one. Warm. I don't get the warm, to be know. honest with you. Maybe this one will find it. I don't it, but... know how a temp can be a taste. But you know what? I'm here to try it. It's a little little hazy again. It smells nice. It smells like a lager. It's it is smooth. It's not not warm. It's not as flavorful as I was expecting. I don't get a lot of flavor. No. The can, however, says fizzy, mellow, classic, and I definitely agree with the mellow. It is mellow. It is very mellow. Mm -hmm. There's not a lot of flavor coming no. out at you. It's just like chill. Yeah. Good like drinking beer. I I, I like it. Is it like a three something? I don't know if it's a three something. Yeah, it's okay. It's it's a lager. I'm between two. Yeah. Same. I think we're there. I think we're at the same spot though, to be honest. Probably. Ready? Yeah. Or did you do it? Two five. Two seven five. I debated doing that. Yeah. I was see? I wasn't sure if I would get it. That's where I thought you were going. Yeah. I think it's on par with the last one. Yeah, I think I like it a little bit less, maybe, because, I don't know. It's more I, muted. It's not like a, it's not a very full flavor. It feels like it's not done yet. I like that it's a heavier body. It is a heavier body, but the flavor profile, I just feel like it's not done. It needs, <laughs> it's missing its heat. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I, I can say, yeah. Like, there's so much potential yes. to this. Maybe it just needs to, like, grow a little more. Yeah, make a little, like... Yeah. Hoppier, maybe? A little bit. I think it needs a little bit more hops. But would that make it an IPA, though? <laughs> <laughs> That's why we don't brew. We just taste. <laughs> <laughs> we need to not compare everything to an IPA. <laughs> so, so far. IPA is our gold standard, apparently. Yes, for sure. <laughs> but uh, um, It was really good, though. Comparatively to the last one, I like it. A you like it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I generally like lagers, but I think okay. can. I would drink again. Better. would drink again. Yeah. I think the can makes it taste better. Really the, can, the can's really <laughs> nice. 
All right, so our third beer from South Carolina is the Overly Friendly IPA from Holy City Brewing in North Charleston. This is a 6.9% alcohol by volume. Yay. 65 IBUs. Ooh. Out of 14,000 check-ins, it has a 3.78 rating. Ooh. And the flavor profile is hoppy, smooth, citrusy, piney, and light. Oh yay! We're gonna like this one, I think. Piney. We're gonna like taste the Christmas tree or something. Oh, I definitely get the pine. It smells like pine, for sure. And you're walking oh, through so an evergreen forest taste. or something. <laughs> All right, well. I can already taste the bitter in it. I'm so excited. You, yeah. That's a good IPA. That is a really good IPA. Mm-hmm. I like Agreed. that a lot. Yes. That's a nice, strong, hot flavor. Nice little bitter back end. And I don't think you're overly friendly. I think you're friendly enough. Like, we just said hi, and I like you. You know what I mean? Like, you didn't already ask me for my number. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's only been really a like minute. It. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We've had some good conversation. I like this. I like this. That's really good. I don't think I agree with like the, I like that the lot. three the three seven eight. I don't think I agree with that. Yeah, I don't agree with the three seven eight. I'm between a couple numbers. I think I know where you are in your mind. You can tell me after I write it down. Uh, so I want you to influence me. I will oh, be like, how you're wrong. True. Ready? Where'd you think I was at? I thought that you were gonna be anywhere between like a three five and like a four, maybe a four two. But I feel like a four two is reaching a little. Far. All right, all right, that's fair. Yeah, where'd you go? I gave it a four. Oh, I did two. I was, I was thinking three. I was thinking three seven five. And I was I two. For, I went for a four. It was. It's a solid beer. It's really good. Yeah, like I like that we're agreeing on these beers. Apparently, it's so weird. South Carolina, like we, we agree. Yeah, like we that can be friends, in South Kakalaki. I like you. <laughs> Us Virginians call anyone in the Carolinas Kakalaki. North Kakalaki, South Kakalaki. We do. I don't know why. I don't know why. But, but where I'm from <laughs> is what we call y'all. I don't know why. The last beer of the day from South Carolina is the Hop Art IPA from Coast Brewing Company in North Charleston. This is a 7.7 .7 alcohol by volume and a 75 IBU beer. Ooh, we're gonna like this one. I think so. After like 24,000 check-ins on Untapped, it has a 3.77 rating. It's Hoppy, malty, smooth, sweet, and light. I'm a little thrown off by the light in the flavor profile for an IPA. Yeah, but judging by the color, it's probably not gonna be very light. And judging by the IBUs, it's gonna not taste very light, I don't think. Oh, it does smell really it's good. It's really good, really good hops in there. I do appreciate the Andy Warhol, like, the homage. It is a light IPA. Yeah, it's a lighter profile than the last one. But the taste is really good. It's really good, but it smells, I like the color of it. It smells a lot stronger, a lot hoppier than the other. But I it, like it though. It's not as assertive, I guess. I mean, like Untapped calls it assertive. I don't think it's nearly as like in your face. But then, like, it you taste you, it. You get the hops, but it's not for sure. But it's not like it's not like your taste buds kind of hop. It's like yeah, it's, it's an appropriate it's amount, I guess. But again, I don't think I agree with that 3.7. 3.77. It's on par with the last one, I think. They're very similar. I, I think I know what I want to do. You do? Yeah. It's just so hard because I love Andy Warhol. And if I do this one the way that I want to, I just feel like I'm smacking them right in the face. I mean, it's just a beer. <laughs> it is, but like, yo, art's close to my soul, you know. All right, ready? I'm ready. All right, I'm ready. Go. 3.75. Same! That's so weird! We are four for four! Or well, we're three for oh, four. Oh, three for four. Oh, I thought we agreed on one. There was, right, one, there was one where we split. Oh, yeah, that's, that's weird! Yeah, I liked it a little <laughs> bit less than the last one. Same! Same. I like the other one just a hair more. Yeah. Just If, a if hair. it was a choice between the two, I'd, def I, I'd pick the other one, but just slightly. Yeah, and but I wouldn't say no. No, no. I'd, I'd probably pick up both, honestly. Solid IPA. Really well done on the on the balance for sure. Yeah, I like this one a lot. This is a really good. Yeah, beer. I think I'm just missing the pine because it kind of cools down the bitterness a little bit. I think. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. This one's a little heavier on the hops. It's definitely heavier on the hops, but it's not bad. But it's still not like aggressively hoppy. It's just right. more hoppier. Agreed. Yeah. Again, missing the pine. So 
today on Cans at Cruppies, we drank beers from South Carolina. So our least favorite beer of the day was the Low Country Lager. Our third out of the fourth was Folly's Pride. Our second place beer was the Hop Art IPA. And our first place beer of the day was the Overly Friendly IPA. So I think it makes the most sense. We both really like IPAs. It makes sense that those two came out on top. Yep. Overall, it was a really surprising day. We, we agreed on three yeah. out of the four. Which was like, so not the norm. And the other one wasn't far off no. at all. No, it must be a full moon. <laughs> like, <laughs> like the forces are working. I don't like... know what's happening, but we agreed on a lot of things today. But yeah. we had some really good beer. The, the overly friendly IPA was a really solid IPA. Yeah. Even the hot part, they both had a lot of hot flavor. The overly friendly is not overly friendly. It's quite friendly, and it's quite balanced. And I think that's what really drew like drew us to it is that there's it's hoppy, but it's not like too in your face. Whereas like fine to balance it out, it did. And the other one just was a little too hoppy, hoppy overall. I'm just I'm really honestly surprised that like the blonde came out over the lager. To I am. Be honest. I am too. That was a really really good blonde though. It was. And we don't typically go for wine because we usually like the hoppier, stronger flavors. But yeah, the that, moth sweeter. That was a really good moth, like really good sweet beer. Overall, so, we'll drink again. Yeah, South Carolina, you did good. So thanks for stopping by today and having a drink with us. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And click the bell icon to be notified of our next upload. And then follow us up on our socials. And the link's in the description down below. And always remember to drink responsibly. See you next time.